So I'm dropping some pasta into some boiling water. We want about half of the box. We'll eyeball it. Eight to 10 ounces of dried pasta. Always season that pasta with a little bit of salt because that really is your only way to um, get the seasoning, you know, that flavor into the pasta is when you're, you're boiling it. Okay. Now into my skillet, I'm going to add two pounds of ground beef, just lean ground beef. Looking for the old pop and stir. So hey, if you're not doing anything, come on out and see me in Chilton Saturday. They do the neatest festival in fall. I can't even believe I'm saying fall. I guess it's officially not fall yet, but um, it's called the Crafty Apple Festival in Chilton on Saturday, and they have all sorts of apples and crafts and entertainment and food, and I'm doing a cooking demo Saturday morning, cooking up um, a few different apple recipes, so it should be a lot of fun. So hope to see you there this Saturday. And then next Thursday, I'm at the Shawano County Library next Thursday evening doing a cooking class out there. So it's free. Come out and see me. It's just always fun to get out and talk to you guys and hear about your great recipes. Okay, so I'm just using the old chop and stir to get that ground beef going. And I'm going to add a little bit of onion. and a little bit of green pepper. Now this is a real kid-friendly recipe, except for the green pepper. Some kiddos do not like it at all. So at this point, you could say, too bad. It's in there. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I happen to love it. I love green pepper in pasta dishes and on pizza. Uh, but my kids are not a big fan. So at this point, you could leave this out of the recipe and then just put a little bit on top, which we're going to show you. And that way, you can put it on the one side that's how we order our pizza, you know, when we go out, half this, half this, so everybody kind of gets what they, they want. So I'm going to do a little bit of green pepper actually in sautéing, cooking with the ground beef and the onion, and then a little bit is going to go on top. This one skillet dish is going to look like a pizza. It's really cute. But as I said, if the kids don't like it, it just leave it out. It's kind of like uh, we're going to put a bunch of pizza toppings on top. So you put what your family likes on there. Our next big night out is coming up in just a couple weeks. They are so much fun. If you've never been, you really should come. It's all about trying some different restaurants that you may have never tried before. And that's what makes it so cool, is that basically these restaurants want to show you all the cool stuff that they do. So. They pull out all the stops. And on uh, September 23rd, a Monday, we're headed to Christopher's in Manitowoc at the Branch River a Golf Club. It's the most gorgeous setting. Five course meal. It's, the menu is like unbelievable. Um, started out with a seafood salad. I'm trying to remember some of the other courses. Um, I know it was a, a chicken salt sambuca with prosciutto and wild uh, mushroom risotto. And then there was a a rack of lamb dish, an amazing dessert. I know I'm missing one of the dishes. Uh, but anyway, all wonderful and paired with uh, several different wines. So $60 per person, that includes tax, tip, gratuity, the whole deal. So anyway, call for reservations or go to our website to get some more information on that. OK, so if the kiddos do green peppers, at this point, we're going to add some green peppers. And I want to season this up with a few different ingredients. I've got some garlic powder. I want to give it the taste of pizza. Some oregano, dried oregano. And we're going to save a little bit of that for the top. Oh, that smells so good. We'll do a little bit of salt and a little bit of red pepper. You know what I was thinking? A little bit of crushed red pepper, if you like some heat, would be nice too, if you wanted it a little bit spicy. Also, I'm doing ground beef. If you wanted to change it up a little bit, you could do Italian sausage, sweet or spicy, in, in place of the ground beef. 
And nowadays they sell it in bulk, which makes it really nice. You don't have to, you know, remove it from the casings. But instead of the ground beef, that would work really fun in here too. Okay, perfect. There you go. Thank you, Anne. So at this point, I'm going to add one jar of marinara sauce, spaghetti sauce, tomato sauce, whatever is on sale. I'm going to add it in there. And then the recipe calls for about a cup and a half of water. So what I do, instead of getting a measuring cup out, I just kind of eyeball it, put some water into my spaghetti sauce jar, shake it up, and that way you're going to get every little last bit of sauce out of that jar. Great way to get that jar ready for the recycling bin. And I, I hate wasting stuff, so there you go. Now, I'm also going to add one can of cream of mushroom soup. And this is going to add some really great flavor. I know you're saying, that sounds kind of weird. It really does work. Um, it's, it's fantastic. I do a kind of a Mexican recipe that has people question me all, really, the cream of mushroom soup in there? And it really works great. Gives it some nice flavor and something a little bit different. I suppose if you weren't a fan of it, you could leave it out. Cream of celery soup would also work. I'm just going to take my whisk and kind of combine this. Smells delish, as Ann says. So it kind of makes it more of a pink sauce, and it really is yummy. I can't believe that it was Labor Day weekend already. I, it just, it blows my mind. It's like, where in the world did summer go? I have no idea, but I'm hoping that we're going to be in for a beautiful fall, and if yesterday and today are any indication, I think that we're doing good. Why is it some of the very best weather days of the year are in September? Seems like that always happens. Okay. The pasta is almost there. I'm going to add a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese to this, and this is why this really works nicely with the tomato sauce, and then you've got the cream of mushroom soup, and could smell it. it just smells yummy so we've got some great fun shows and ideas planned for you this fall later in the week we're going to show you what to do with all that sweet corn we're going to get a little more corny than usual on this show also we've got our first official football game the real deal this weekend, I can't wait. Bring it on. Let's move past the preseason and get on to the real um, season. And so we've got a really fun football theme show for you uh, Friday. So stick around for that, getting you all ready to plant yourself on the couch and watch, uh, watch the show. So uh, just uh, some fun ideas. I know we took a little of a break over the summer to regroup. Uh, I took a little vacation. And then we also shot all sorts of great new stuff for fall, September, October. and so. Hopefully you'll keep finding us here at 10 a.m. at our new town, our new time. And uh, um, oh yes, my producer Abby just wanted me to mention the Better Half Show is coming back on Fridays, uh, starting not this Friday but next Friday. We've got the Packer Wives uh, are going to be in our studio. That was such a great show. It was so fun to hang out with them, and and you know, uh, you come to realize they're just like you and me, down to earth gals trying to get dinner on the table for their family, and and you know. Um, Anyway, it's a pretty fun show, and it's, it will be coming back. Not this Friday, but Friday the 13th. So, Friday the 13th. Hope nothing go wrong. No black cats or ladders or something like that. Anyway, okay, so I'm just draining my pasta. And in goes my pasta into the sauce. And this is what I like about this dish. Let's see, we started the show at 10, it's 
10 13. I mean, dinner is done in like 13 minutes. And if I wouldn't have talked so much, it would have been done in 10. <laughs> um, and you, you know, basically it's all in one skillet. So now's where we have some fun. I've got some shredded mozzarella cheese. So we're going to put out your favorite pizza toppings on the top. A couple of cups of shredded mozzarella. And then I'm going to do some green peppers because I like them. Let's do our pepperoni first. Pepperoni slices, just like you were doing a pizza. And my kids love pepperoni, so got to put some of that on there. As a time saver, what you could do is boil that pasta up ahead of time. Sunday is kind of my big cooking day. Well, it is. Not kind of. It, it is. Uh, so on Sunday, you know, if I knew I was going to be making this later in the week, what I do is just boil that pasta up and, and park it in the fridge, and then you could put this dish together even quicker. In fact, you could brown the ground beef up um, and have that all brown too. You could throw this together in that case in like five minutes. So I know I hear it all the time. How do you do it? How do you get dinner on the table? Uh, you know, I've got all sorts of tips and tricks, and I'll be sharing them on this show going forward. I kind of say, my life's an open book. If I can help other people, so many people have helped me along the way, I want to help too. So I'm doing some black olives. That's another thing I love, love, love on my pizza. And then, you know, you could throw mushrooms on here, whatever you like. And you can just cover it, and that cheese will melt. And you just bring it to the table just like this, right, right there. Um, oh, yeah, a little bit of oregano. Thanks, Abby. And that's what they do a lot of times at the pizza parlor. You'll see a little bit of oregano on top. So there you go. Toss a salad together, throw some frozen garlic bread in the freezer, and you, all of a sudden, look like a total rock star on one of those really, really busy uh, back-to-school nights where everybody's starving and you have no idea what to make. Surprise them with this, my pizza skillet dinner. It's really delish. Recipes on the website. Coming up, some more family fun, easy recipes. We are going to show you how to make peanut butter pancakes. What a fun way to start the morning. And we'll show you what to do with all those wonderful plums out there. We're going to make a delicious, easy plum crisp. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back. <laughs>